My name is Timothy Knight. I'm an engineering director at Google for the Android camera team. Okay, so first on the fundamentals. Uh, so image quality, video quality, speed, you know, uh, shutter latency, uh, time to open. We just doubled down on all those, right? So everywhere we're better than last year. We're, you know, better photos, better videos. Uh, on top of that, we added some new features. Uh, so we added OAS uh, for even crisper photos and, and more stable videos. Uh, we added portrait mode, we added uh, motion photos, uh, face retouching. Uh, I think the experience has really uh, evolved. So the technique we use is we capture a burst of photos uh, and then we combine them together in software to make a, a really high dynamic range, high quality final uh, photograph. Uh, so with OAS, now every single frame in that burst is, is sharper and, and cleaner. So the final result is even sharper and cleaner uh, than, uh, than before. Uh, and in video mode, uh, in video mode, uh, so a problem that uh, if you don't have OES <laughs> is that uh, if there's motion blur within a frame, uh, you get a little bit of a, a wobbling, sort of jiggly <laughs> uh, look to the video. So by running optical stabilization within video recording too, uh, it's even smoother, we get rid of that, that motion shake, uh, and it's you know, like a more stable feel. We're capturing you know, much darker versions of the scene where the highlights are not blown out, you know, the sky is still blue. <laughs> and then we do some very sophisticated noise reduction by combining frames together, and then you know, apply tone mapping to get to the final rendition. Uh, so we were able to preserve the highlights and the blue skies, and also in the dark areas we see detail uh, you know, in the shadows. So there are actually two techniques. Uh, the first technique is machine learning. Uh, so by you know, training um, a model on like a million images, like a lot of images, <laughs> uh, we're able to understand you know, foreground, background, segmentation, and you know, on both the front and rear camera, uh, you know, do the, you know, a really nice background blur. Uh, additionally, for the rear camera, we have a, a special sensor technology referred to as dual pixel, where every single pixel has both a left and a right half. And conceptually, it lets you have you know, two slightly different viewpoints of the scene, as if you like moved your head a little bit left and right. And that is enough to give you actually a depth map of the scene. And combining that with the machine learning model, we can get an even more accurate uh, portrait photo, as well as uh, you know, photos of things that aren't people. <laughs> there are a lot of dual cameras on the market. You know, they may not all be that great. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, dual camera is a, you know, it brings a lot of trade-offs with it. Uh, you, know, you know, for example, uh, it takes more space, so maybe the battery is smaller. Uh, you know, often the second camera is really not very good in low light, and for us low light is super important. Um, you know, because smaller pixels and a, a, a shallower, uh, sorry, a narrower aperture. Um, but uh, in the end, I think that the, you know, image quality, the video quality, the, the capabilities we wanted to bring to the table were really, like I said, a single camera experience, and I, I, believe, I believe that we, <laughs> we met that goal. You know, best photos in the world, best videos in the world, you know, fastest capture time, fastest open time, it's hard to complain about that.